Warren, Dr. Jeff here with you again this week with Cove Student Megan. Uh, we're going to take a break this week from talking about your foot. Uh, we've had a question come in about talking about uh, how do I know if I'm suffering from allergies or suffering from COVID-19? That's a great question. Uh, this time of year, uh, allergies are starting to show up a little more as the pollens uh, from the grass and the trees and, and uh, other flowers start to get out in the air and, and cause an irritant to, uh, to our eyes. Uh, COVID-19 is a virus, so when you get COVID-19, it gets in the body and, and, and it makes you very ill and very sick, uh, whereas uh, an allergy is more of an immune response. Uh, so the body's reacting to something it doesn't really like. So it doesn't really make you sick, it just becomes an irritant uh, type of thing. So a couple of similar things between an allergy and, uh, and COVID-19 might be a cough. Both are going to have a bit of a dry cough. Uh, you also may get a bit of a runny nose uh, with both. Uh, you might get a, a loss of sense of smell uh, because uh, with allergies, your sense of smell is in your nose. and the nose is running all the time and getting irritated, it might affect your sense of, uh, sense of smell. And your sense of smell is kind of tied to your sense of taste. So you might lose a little bit of your, uh, your sense of smell and taste. Uh, other, and you can also get something called pink eye where you get an eye infection. Uh, it's a little more common with, uh, uh, with COVID than it is with allergies, uh, but it can happen with both. Um, if you're looking at the difference between the two, well, the difference is between COVID and allergies. Well, with COVID, uh, you're going to have fatigue, just really tired. Uh, you want to go lie down. Uh, you can be even too tired to even eat. Now you're going to get muscle aches and pains. You're going to be sore all over. Uh, you're also going to find uh, you get the fever and the chills. You don't know if you're hot or you're cold. Uh, you might get a, a bit of a runny nose and a sore throat. Uh, you might get some bowel issues like... Uh, uh, you might get constipated, you might have diarrhea, you might uh, have vomiting, um, and you might get uh, a real shortness of breath that somebody's kind of leaning on your, on your chest. So you feel really sick uh, with COVID. Or with allergies, what are you going to find with allergies, Megan? Well, with allergies, it's more congested sinuses, itchy eyes, nose, and ears, and also you might have some sneezing. Some things we can do to help allergies is take a decongestion or a neti pod, which helps shoot air and uh, helps into one nostril and then helps clear the sinuses. And these will help allergies, whereas they won't really do anything with COVID-19. Yeah, so there are a lot, uh, some similar things being COVID and allergies, but some real big differences as well. And we usually find with COVID-19 now is that they want to see you with a couple of symptoms. Uh, so just having a headache or having a runny nose, uh, that can be caused by a number of things. But, you know, if you're having, you know, if you're having fever and chills and a runny nose or, or shortness of breath, loss of sense of smell, uh, diarrhea, if you're having a couple of these symptoms, uh, it's very important that you go and get them checked to make sure it's not COVID-19. Uh, whereas allergies is more just an irritant. You're not really going to feel tired. You're not really going to feel sick. It's just more... As, mentioned, as Megan mentioned, your itchy eyes and your runny nose and, and, uh, and stuff. So whenever in doubt, you should always go get tested. It's better be safe than sorry uh, with COVID-19. Um, but I hope today's discussion, we kind of talked a little bit about the similarities and the differences to kind of help you differentiate between, you know, if I'm having an allergy or if I'm having a, a COVID-19. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, you can always email us at jgoalswithy at goalswellness.com or you can talk to us via Facebook. And if you have any other great questions out there you want us to uh, discuss, you can always send them in and we'll certainly uh, do our research and, and, uh, and talk about them. Uh, as always, uh, I'm Dr. Jeff and with Cove Student Megan, we've got you back.